Well, I was thinking about that old expression, you know, from back in the old days, it sticks and stones, and, uh, you know, maybe break my bones, and I could not remember the the end, right, the, the second part of that, so I was doing a quick Yahoo search, and I came across this, this was my first result, and I'm like, I, that just seems a little long, I don't remember it being that long, and then I looked at the second result, and it said that the words can really hurt me. And I'm like, God, oh, that, that doesn't seem to be what I recollect. And then this one, it said they break my heart. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. It seems like they're just sort of like burying the old expression. I, I never really liked that expression, you know. I'd say, hey, that guy is saying bad things to me, teacher. And the teacher would be like, ah, oh, six and stone, suck it up. And I'd be like, I don't want thick skin. I, I want someone to sort of cater to my 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 upsetness. I, I don't feel happy. I, I don't want to have to be tough and, and grind it out. I And I'm glad that we finally live in an age where we can finally, you know, uh, admit that words do break bones and stuff. And I was watching, or, well, I was reading the news. It was a game. Over in Tokyo, right, the Olympics are getting ready to start. And, uh, of course, the game's not televised here. And it was sort of behind closed walls. So no one really could see what happened. But Germany, uh, they had to, like, uh, stop playing, right? Because one of their players, this guy here, Jordan, he was allegedly, it says alleged racist abuse from the Honduras players, right? I don't know if they speak German or, or maybe uh, maybe the uh, German players speak Honduran or something. I, I don't really know. and But... The game was tied at one, right, in the 87th minute, right? It was like three minutes left in the game. And apparently the German players said, that, that's it, we're, we're walking off the field, right? Because if one of our players is racially abused, it's not an option. We're, we're out of here, right? And so, um, and the coach said uh, it was hard to get him in. And I'm thinking, what do you mean hard to get him in the game, I guess? Because yeah, he was so upset. Because he was repeatedly being uh, abused, you know, and uh, words break, you know, they hurt, you know, and so, um, so they just decided to stop playing, right? At one to one, and all the German players, they just walked off the field, and then I guess the whole Honduras team came over and apologized. Uh, I mean, you'd think it would be the the guy that was saying such bad things. We don't know who that was. There's no name mention of who it was or any pictures or any video of it. it but it doesn't matter right because allegations are that's what's most important here and so i was reading the article and uh it turns out that um this is not the first time this has happened to this guy jordan uh whatever his name is they called him jordan um where is he right here um anyway um jordan something or other where is his name Anyway, uh, so this isn't the first time this has happened. Uh, I was looking at, you know, the bottom paragraph here. And back in February 2020, his team, or the team that he was playing against, they were fined 50,000 euros um, because they were saying mean things. And I, I said, oh, I want to check that out, right? So uh, oh, here's the story here. This is the team that Jordan was playing against, right? And the fans were yelling and saying really bad things, right? And so uh, it turns out this was at the 85th minute, right at the end of the game. And it was really close. I think it was tied at this point. And apparently Jordan had been sent off. He got kicked out of the game. Uh, he got red carded. Oh, you don't want to get a red card. I think he got two yellows, like a soft red. But, you know, doing dangerous things out there. And they sent him off the field. And it said that he he came off the field. And uh, I guess he got all mad and started to... Uh, throwing down water crates on the sideline, right? He's, he's over there going uh, bananas on the sideline, all mad and stuff. And then he's like, oh, oh, uh, they're like, what are you doing? He's like, oh, they were, they were calling me names, right? I can't have that. And, uh, and everyone's like, oh, no, the fans were saying bad. That's never happened before, right? Uh, young men never talk trash and stuff like that. And so uh, it turns out that... Um, you know, a good thing that the the coach, right, he, he was on it. He, he said that, uh, yeah, uh, they abused my player, right? Um, uh, we can't have that. Yeah, he got the red card, and then it should have already been uh, taken into consideration his emotional state. So when he did some dangerous play, the coach is like, no, 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 he, he's upset. But then the other coach is like, I didn't hear anything. Right? I don't know what's going on. But that doesn't matter what, what you say. 
uh, you know, if you're saying the wrong thing, which is like, I didn't hear anything. That's the wrong thing to say. You can't say that. What are you, what are you dumb? What are you stupid? Uh, oh, I'm sorry. I hope I didn't hurt your feelings with my dangerous words right there. No, no. Once the accusation is thrown down, right? Thy gauntlet hath been thrown. Oh, it's over. I mean, that's it. That's where you end it right there. And so, and that's good, right? I mean, I don't know if there's an expression about like, uh, you know, what do uh, allegations, do they break bones or, you know, false acts, accusations or bearing false witness or anything like that. But we can't dare uh, you know, bring that up. We don't want to talk about what, with that going on, even though it seems to be a pattern here. Hey, it's end of the game. We're not doing that well. Let's, um, hey, I got an idea. Let's, uh, Let's uh, blow the whistle, right, and uh, stand up for ourselves by, you know, telling them, ratting them out, and uh, making stuff up, right? They can never prove anything, so, um, yeah, we'll just do that. It sounds like a great strategy. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to see how this kind of plays out in the Olympics. I'm so excited about the Olympics. I'm surprised they actually still have it. But, uh, you know, it seems to be a thing and it's getting traction here. Just make those allegations and, uh, you know, that's all you got to do. I mean, you don't have to worry about any blowback or anyone fact-checking you or, you know, questioning. Hey, are you sure your allegations are true because no one knows what you're talking about? Oh, no, it doesn't matter. Once the allegation is out there, it's over, right? So, anyway, I'm very glad, right, because we got to stomp out that, you know, those mean uh, vile sort of insults, and it just, uh, you know, it hurts, right? And we don't want to be hurt. We want to feel good and loved and, you know, have our backs rubbed and our little heads patted and whatnot. So, anyway, good story. Uh, I think looking up uh, Tokyo Olympics 2021, I'm all on board, and uh, I think I'll be rooting for my favorite team, Germany, this year, because uh, they seem to be the ones leading the charge against sort of like, uh, you know, bad stuff. I mean, forget soccer. That's irrelevant, right? It's the bad stuff that we're really competing against, and Germany seems to want to stand up and uh, take that bull by the horns, right? So anyway, that's all I got. The end.